Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. So today I'm going to be sharing a recipe that I like to do that is actually quite quick. It's a tuna pasta salad, but I'm putting a little twist on it, making it a little spicy. So let's get right to it. So this salad starts with us making the pasta. So I've got a pot of boiling water. As you can see, there's a rolling boil. I'm just going to salt the water. I like my pasta water to be nice and salty and that helps with flavoring the pasta as well. And then I'm just going to throw it in and then I'm gonna let it go. So in terms of the package instructions on my dried pasta, it actually says six minutes. So that's how long I'm going to let mine go. So just remember to check the instructions on your package when you're making your pasta. And from here on out, I'm going to be putting together the sauce while the pasta cooks. So to start off the sauce, I'm actually going to be starting off with my mayonnaise. I'm going to dump it all in, into the bowl where I'm going to be doing my salad. First with the mayonnaise, and then I've got some chopped up jalapenos. So I've got the jalapenos that have been pickled, right? So I normally buy it like pickled, as you can see. I'm sure you can get them. You yeah, you do actually get them from the shops and stuff like that. But I've got a, I've got a guy. <laughs> so if you want me to hook you up with my guy, let me know. But that's pickled jalapenos, and they've just I've just chopped them up, and that's where we're going to get the little bit of a kick or the little bit of a spice from there. And the main ingredient in a tuna noodle salad is tuna. So this is a canned tuna that was in salt water. So basically this is the sauce. I'm just going to put it together. So as soon as the pasta is ready, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be adding the pasta to the sauce. So I want the sauce to be completely mixed in and the right consistency so when I add the pasta then we are good to go and that's it that's how easy it is and now let's go make sure that we can finish off the pasta before we put it in the tuna so when I've got about a minute to go before my pasta is ready I'm going to be throwing in the peas because I'm using frozen peas and during this time, the boiling water is going to help the peas to completely thaw out and be properly cooked because then, then they'll be ready to put in the salad. So that's what we're trying to do here. So literally just a minute before your pasta is ready, just put, pour in the frozen peas. If you're using fresh peas, um, it will probably be around the same time. Yeah, I think it will. And yeah, so if you're using tinned peas, however, Rather, just drain the water from the tin and then just add them directly to the sauce because that you don't have to cook. So with mine, I'm using frozen and that's why I'm going to be putting them in the pasta water so they can cook a little bit. Okay, so the pasta is ready as well as the peas. And I've just sectioned it because I had quite a bit of pasta. But then again, I have quite a bit of sauce. So I've just sectioned it so that it is enough for me to be able to mix it in my bowl. And that's what I'm gonna do. So basically we are just making sure that we get sauce everywhere on the salad.
there we go so that is really how easy it is to make this tuna salad the spicy tuna salad so you can have it hot or you can have it cold so I'm going to eat it right now it's quite still quite hot and that's how I enjoy it the other thing you can do is you can put it away in your refrigerator and then you can maybe eat it at a later time as a salad along with other dishes or other meal or as a meal on its own like I'm doing right now Thank you very much for joining me in the kitchen today remember to like the video to leave a comment because i like reading your comments and to subscribe to the channel and that's it from me thank you and bye